What have you done, Archie? Just like Maxie. You delinquent. You delinquents. Disturbing all the ancient Pokemon. And look, it doesn't want to stick around either, just like Groudon. Runs away instantly. Back on the shores of Moss Deep. And uh, we have seas to the south to explore, and no doubt opponents there to defeat. But it occurs to me that it might be better to do something else just before I do that, which is perhaps go call up or visit some trainers in my Pokonav. Maybe let Kilcho do a little one-on-one -on -one battling with them. Send some cold weather their way. So it doesn't have to get trained with experience share as much. So let's do that real quick. Let's see who we have here. Someone wants to fight, surely. Let's see. A tuber, Route 109. Let's track that person down. That's early, isn't it? Oh yes. Ah, Slateport. This area is familiar to Booger. Let's go there. I think I have an idea of where this tuber is. I think we, um... Well, I thought we left her on an island stranded, basically, marooned, and I thought she probably wouldn't have made it, but apparently she's still alive. Let's test her tolerance for cold. Who the hell is that? Cory? Who is Cory? What trader class are you, Cory? I don't know no fucking Cory. You're a tentacle. You a swimmer? You a swimmer, Cory? It's a little threatening. Hang on, who the hell is Cory? We have to find out who Cory is. Cory thinks he's hot shit now. Where are you, Cory? Damn it. Sailor? He's a sailor. Up for a fight any time? Not according to your Pokenav, uh, status. Hmm. Well, he gives good, good advice about, you know, vocalizing loudly. He gets that it's from down, down here in the belly, you know. I get, that's good. Maybe, maybe he has some sound advice at least. Onward. Onward to find the tuber. You're not the tuber. Tuber, no, you're not. Tuber, no, no, where are you? Booker has come. Is it you? Is it you? Make sure I have my ace type out, otherwise I failed. Nope. I'll find her. Could just could just be a little south. We'll see. Maybe hiding under the umbrella there.
damn tentacle. Stop threatening my snow run. Is it you? I think it's her. Nope. Nope. Got judged wrong. That wasn't even a... Damn it. I didn't misread this, did I? Tuber Lola. Yeah. Where are you? Damn it. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this hard. There must be somewhere obvious. Somewhere obvious I didn't look. I probably just passed by someone on the mainland or something. Damn it, Wingle. Oh, I don't trust a snow, a snow run running from no Wingle. It will have to be annihilated with Sinfin. the other Wingle. The same fate awaits them, if they dare the same thing. Let's just do that. I know I must have just missed someone. It is! It's Tuber Lola, hiding under an umbrella. Oh, not losing. That's why you have inner tube. Is that also why you're hiding under under an umbrella? Cowering from booger. Oh, Mirla, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. We can take a Meryl, level 26. Oh shit, not roll out. Damn it. Kill it quickly. What else does she, what else does she have? Another water type? All right. Maybe kill shell wasn't the best for this one. Cedistic is toying with it. Thought it would be humorous to let it have some hope that it stood a chance by only hitting it twice the first time. And then it shatters its dreams with another attack. That's just how it operates. It's kind of a it's kind of a demented nudge leaf, we have to be honest. Okay, anybody else? I'm not gonna do this super long. Cool trainer Kristen, where are you? We're at 121.
Mm-hmm. All right, that should be easy to get to. Look forward to a change to put a cool trainer in their place. What's this person's name? Cool Trainer Kristen. Where are you, Cool Trainer Kristen? Booker has come to bring destruction. Chill is a little too slow to run from one, and I don't want it taking a cheap hit. Just get out of here. Don't need to waste time. Those two are not cool trainers. A mighty Yana. Jeez. Again, afraid about the speed. <sighs> oh, what the fuck? Fine. Could you have done that sooner, Mariana? That Mariana is kind of. kind of an asshole. That's not good. I missed the person. Did I run right past them? Wow, the wild Pokemon are kind of obnoxious here. Shove off, shove it. Shove it, shove it. No. Oh my gosh. I did. I went right past her. That's the cool trainer. For some reason, that person just didn't register to me as a cool trainer. Who do you have? Oh, now I'm number 10. I think I was number 5 last time. According to her. I don't believe her, though. She's lying this time, too. She couldn't get a streak like that. You're a lie, Kristen. You lie, Kristen. that's high level. That's higher level than I anticipated. I need a strong Pokemon. Damn it. I thought these trainers wouldn't be this strong. I'm just having to switch. Like I would have on the sea route anyway. This is the last trainer, then. That'll be enough of this for now. These trainers are really strong, some of them. I guess her, because she's on a later route. Oh, uh, hey, Proportion.
I think I should be saying root. I think I'm mispronouncing that word. Just to can take it. That's it. Fight through that confusion. That was kind of a lot of damage. Um, try a bullet seed. Pretty weak. Hmm. I don't like that. You're about to kill Cedar Stack. This is actually a nice surprise. But these trainers put up a good challenge when you challenge them again. Holy shit, critical hit. Take this seriously, lead Cedar. Then I'm gonna have to use my own hyper potion. Probably. Unless I wanna switch again. This Vigoroth means business. But we have it now. getting stronger, but just with experience here again. That's why we're just going to go back to that sea route and get on with things. We just gave you a rematch. That was literally a rematch. Heh. Booger has become a menace to that cool trainer. Excellent. Let's go ahead and heal. And then just put my grass types in charge. Or the many water types we'll doubtless encounter on the high seas. We have much ocean to explore. So nice being able to just hop in a Pelipper Bill and Island Hop around the ocean. That's great. What a luxury. What a privilege. And then you can also just use it like a boat. Damn tentacle. We are in new territory. What's this? Something to sell. Booger's Pokemon don't need drugs. Not those kind, at least. Performance enhancing. Look, they already perform well. You know, this appears to be a double battle. They 
they could use stuff other than um, other than water types. Hmm. Let's try putting coach on. Just we can switch it if we need to. He has bird Pokemon. Excellent. Good prey for a nice day. Slow and methodical match? It's a strange thing to ask for. Wouldn't expect that from a cool trainer either. So does Icy Wind not affect both Pokemon? In a double battle? I believe it does. Hang on. Let's try to make sure the Sweller does. It does affect both. This should be good. Evenly leveled with Kyoto. Let's see what this does. It'll finish off that Sweller. Oh shit. You wouldn't dare. Holy shit! That Manectric killed Killchill! Violently with a critical lightning bolt of thunder. Jeez. I hate those things. It must die. It must be whacked. First, kill that thing. I'm really mad about that. Maybe I can revive. So it gets a little experience still. Armory now. Okay. I'm going to revive it if I have any item that can do that. Let's go ahead and leechy this mana trick. If we can. Jeez. There we go. Good job, Wactus. That should be helpful. They're lower level than us, but they're still posing a little bit of a threat. Paralyze heal or something else that heals. I have to get more of this stuff. I'm not going to use it actually. I'm going to just tough it out because it'll just paralyze us again. Holy shit! Why are they doing so much damage with moves that aren't even super effective? This is pathetic. <sighs> Can't believe it. Just use a super potion on C does deck. Damn it, not air cutter. How that affects both of us. Jeez. That 
looks good. Lionoon. I can't believe I have to switch Cedar's deck out. Unless I want to use a Hyper Potion. I probably just should. I can buy more Emrish. I have plenty of money now. Stop that damn beeping. Uh, might be a problem. The line you know is surf. Well, that explains how they got here. One of them maybe flew on a bird Pokemon too. to try to take one of them out with these two in at least. Good, it's a fool. If it were smart, if its trainer were smart, we would have had it use air cutter. And only air cutter. And then surf on grass types. Take down the skirmery. One hit'll do it. There we go. Can't believe they were so tough. I have to go to the Pokemon Center. She's probably high. She thinks time is slowing down. Rare candy, wow. First one of those I found in this game. I'm just gonna fly right back to that Pokemon Center right away. battle just kind of brutalized us. Of course, if I had Bake Sneak in, I could have flamethrowed the Skarmory. I was just stubborn about sticking with my grass types. For no particular reason. Try again. One over there. Oh, I could dive. First time diving with Sinfen. I like the music that plays underwater. I imagine Booger's probably just riding in the mouth of a uh, Sharpedo, just like she would her Pelipper. It's what she's used to. She's just she's used to being curled up in a large creature's mouth. Her Pelipper already has her used to that with the surfing and flying. So it was only natural. Oh, 
I already found a cave. I think this is the one I'm thinking of. Is this Route 128? I think I remember doing this in Sapphire. And there's the submarine, Archie Stool. Well, we can fight the trainers outside later. Especially if we've found a Team Aqua. What the hell is here? Damn tentacle. See a team aqua run. Can't resist. Can't resist busting up some team aqua grunts that we found in a dive to the seafloor. My Pokemon are well equipped get through this rugged cave. In addition to reaching it by diving and surfing. It's kind of amazing. Their abilities. Actually, that may be hard. Unless he's gonna take the submarine. Did they all come here in that one submarine? I'm gonna count how many there are. Because that seems like a, not that big of a submarine. Not swagger. Switch then. Oh, that was all he had. Look at that. There's like a toxic workplace environment that promotes bullying of your, uh, you know, junior employees beneath you in rank within Team Aqua. I get more and more worried about the people working for these nature cults every time I interact with them. I know he's sore all over from riding in a tiny submarine. It's as I thought. A whole bunch of them were probably forced into that submarine. There were two in this room. There's probably like 10 to 20 of them in a submarine meant for 4 or 5 people. Like a submarine version of one of those colonial era ships that's like way overcrowded and has inhumane conditions as a, as a result. Brutal as a ride. A picture is forming. Brutal as a ride, way too tight in there. Sure, it was with the, you know, the thing way beyond capacity. The 
just do that. This. I don't really know where I'm going. I have no memory of this place. to move and break. It's annoying. I'm back here now. Great. How did the grunts get around? Do they all have the same HMs I have? Because they would need all the gym badges to use them. Wait a minute. Oh shit. Am I stuck going this way now? I am. Just using one of these. So I can go the other way first. I've already seen four aqua grunts at least. I fought these two and I think I saw two more. I'm counting, you know. Some agency that protects workers from unsafe conditions should probably be visiting Archie and Maxi too. So it's just another room like this? Okay, well I'm gonna go in here first. Hmm, interesting. What? How did I get back at the entrance? Are you kidding? But that doesn't make sense. I don't get how that's a shortcut. Maybe it's some underwater passage that we can't see. 
leads back to the entrance. And there's a strong current making it only one way. That's my going guess. Well... Let's not go in the little cave then. I thought something cool would be in there. What have we here? There we go. Looks like a double battle. What's out here? We're gonna fit these two first. I don't need a submarine, I have a Sharpedo. Ah, the Weather Institute. Don't want to be reminded of that place. The little theme there has a nice bass line. What an admin! Wow, I'm gonna have to switch out Killchill. I didn't know one of them was an admin. I thought they were just two grunts. Otherwise, I wouldn't have wouldn't have had Killchill in. Must switch it. We'll see the Sharpedo. Impressive. Level 37. They're serious. But so is Wactus. Because it has a serious nature. Oh no. Go ahead and pin this old Mediana if you can. Nope. Ouch. Took down one at least. I don't want to let Wactus die. So I'm gonna heal it if I have to. I think I do need to. I want it to use in missile on these dark types. Especially now that it had Swagger used on it. Again. See this now. You're playing dangerously. See this stick as rock smash. There's a hit. That's pretty heavy damage. 
Wow. Four times. Five times. A one-hit KO pin missile. I said they were living dangerously. Provoking Wactus. Let alone see the stick. Look at those stat gains. This one stands no chance. Quite an obscure move, especially for a grass type to have. But fun to use when it's super effective. Not a call bat. Oof. I'm afraid it might really mess us up, but let's see if they can handle it on their own, these grass types. Type disadvantage and all. Ooh. That hurt a lot. Might have to be a whack to soap. That's okay. It did well for most of the battle. Heh, not a whack to anymore, now it's a helican. Your weak attack was ineffective. Relatively. That was a good battle, though. Whatever he promised is a lie. And it's not going to make up for the poor working conditions. Or all the stress. You should call human resources. Contact them. And complain. What can I heal with? That doesn't heal HP. I'm kind of actually low on just basic healing items. Just have a few hyper potions. If I have to fight Archie, I have to heal with one of those. Little puzzle. I may have screwed up. Wait. Nope. Saved it. Look at that. We reached a foggy part of the cavern. Or misty. Earthquake. Awesome find. Just curious, can anybody learn that? I've got a few awesome TMs I could consider teaching now. Depending on who's compatible. Whoa. Imagine if Bake Snake could make earthquakes and do flamethrower. I don't think I wanna give it an, like another weird awesome move though. Sinfin could use it. Kinda wanna save Sinfin for more HMs. 
There's one more I want to teach it. Probably waterfall. What's this? This is familiar. I wonder if Archie's going to be here. I don't remember. I'm just going to Hyper Potion Wactus. Just to make sure I'm not totally taken by surprise in the week. I'm ambushed. Just like Groudon, Kyogre is asleep. You can tell by the black and white color. That's how you tell. I knew it. Hold it right there. Damn it. Oh, foo, foo. So it was you after all. Behold. See how beautiful it is. The sleeping farm of the ancient Pokemon, Kyogar. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me, but how you've managed to chase me here. But that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. I've should have figured. So you can keep having fun playing pirate. I need to disappear. Whatever, Archie. Level 41. It's pretty serious. I'm glad I healed Wattus. Hmm. Take down. I'm also not going to let Sea Distic die easily. You too. Let's bullet seed it. Super potion. Just like Maxi, he only has a super potion. No hyper potion. And Garchi's poor too. That's why he had to steal a submarine. Withdrew? Why now? Oh, a crowbat. You serious? He has a crowbat too? Cedar Stick is still really trying to bullet seed it. Trying its hardest. I must switch though. An ice type could be helpful, but this thing will hit so hard I'm afraid kill chill won't last. I think I gotta switch Helican in. Helican's durable. So Maxi and Archie both have Crobat. I don't think Archie had a Crobat. And Sapphire, if, unless I'm mistaken, it could be. Already did serious damage. If Helican dies, I'll have to put Big Snake in. Pull through. Evenly leveled with a crowbat, was able to surf its way to victory. 
Now your mighty Anna can face Ractus. Sure that you have nothing else that can match well with a grass type. Doesn't matter. Maybe it matters a little bit. Damn intimidate. So annoying. In that case, let's do it the easy way. Again with the super version. Or the safe way, I'll say. Beach seed makes it safe. Air pin missile. We'll chip away at it. Actually, out levels whacked us. It's really pretty easy to find Archie on the seafloor. We literally just dived in the first place south of where we got the dive HM and followed a sea trench and it led directly to a cave where he was. He didn't hide very well. It's almost like he's crying out for attention. He did have the megaphone that he used to announce his submarine theft. Hiding in an easy to find a place. Holy crap! Kyoto's gonna learn an ice beam! That'll help it. That is an awesome move. One of my favorite Pokemon moves of all time. Don't need more than one dark move. Awesome. Basic beam that may freeze it. It'll be able to hold its own in battle soon. With a little more experience. A Sharpedo! like how Seedistic would match up against this thing. Practice is there for backup. What does Taunt do? I forget what Taunt does. Makes you only use offensive moves? That's not a problem. See, just took only uses, uh, it only uses offensive moves anyway most of the time. Like it knows swagger, but it pretty much never uses it. Nice. Shoot that torpedo down. What? I lost to a mere child like you. Hoo hoo hoo. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red arb, I can make Kyogar. What have you done, Archie? Just like Maxi. You delinquent. You delinquents. Disturbing all the ancient Pokemon. And look, it doesn't want to stick around either, just like Groudon. Runs away instantly. What?
I didn't do anything. Why did the red arb? Where did Kyogar go? Hmm. It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm. It's raining heavily. Good. That should have happened. That is why we awakened Kyogar. To realize the Marquis' vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned. Yar in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold Yar position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The Red Arb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogar. But why? Why did Kyogar disappear? Why? What have you read? Arty, you have finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this downpour continues for our eternity? The world's one mass will drown in the deepening sea. What? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated the crowd on? So long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogar. I should be able to control it. We don't have time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See what you've what. See if what you've what is the world that you desired. Booker, come on, you have to get out of here too. What happened? What is this written scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I, I only wanted... Do you understand now, Artsy? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Booker, don't say anything. I know that I have no right to be critical of Artsy. But the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither than we stand by and just what help us we. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Artsy and me. This defies belief. Those super instant Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. Wow. They seem to feel responsible for their actions for once. Oh, and now Steven. Jeez. Hang on. I, I need a drink. Steven just showed up. Ugh. Booger, what is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, the deluge began. If this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn, no, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point to arguing here, Sutopolis might provide answers. Booger, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. I just get the sense he's... I just get the sense Steven is a little unstable. Wow. Well, we were just going to go for a relaxing little surf across the sea, but 
Looks like the world's ending now. It'll be fine though. We'll deal with it in the next episode. No big deal.